Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel and uh, today I'll be showing you another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. Um, in continuation to the black shoulder pricing model, the option pricing model uh, that we discussed uh, in another video, we will be showing you today how to use uh, a file uh, that shows you how to use the Greeks basically, which are the sensitivities of uh, the option prices to different factors, to the factors that influence the options uh, pricing. Uh, some of those sensitivities included sensitivities to the stock price, to the risk-free interest rate, to the volatility, to the time to expiration, and um, they are very important in uh, hedging the portfolios. Um, the whole uh, discussion of how why the Greeks are important to study and um, what, what are the impacts basically of changing uh, the option, the stock price, sorry, the spot price or the strike price on each of these degrees is available on the website and it's actually available on the link under the video as well and another uh, reading that was posted on the on our web page and it was uh, actually not, it's not part of the CFA curriculum uh, doesn't appear anywhere is to show how to derive uh, the Greeks uh, this is just for people who are interested on in knowing more of how uh, the formulas that are used to calculate the Greeks uh, have came into existence but uh, but by no chance it requires for the exam and a matter of fact even the calculation of the Greeks themselves I they are not required for the exam all what you have to do to know is um, what do they mean what are the impacts of uh, how do they change based on changes in different factor and uh, how to use them in delta hedging and probably for level 3 I guess delta gamma hedging if I remember carefully so uh, let me show you just quickly of this is again this is a material that's just related to level 2 for uh, now and it's, uh, it appears on the website under level uh, under the tab for level 2 so let me show you uh, quickly, this is what we uh, know from the Black-Scholes model and uh, there's a whole video and a uh, file that shows how to use these formulas. Um, I'll skip that part, but this is just the call option price and the price of the put under the Black-Scholes. Those are the Greeks, basically. We have um, five Greeks over here and uh, they are Delta, Theta, Gamma, Vega and Rho. And uh, each one of them is, uh, well, Rho is not one of the Greeks as far as, if I remember carefully, Rho is not considered to be one of the Greeks. But the other Greek letters are uh, are the ones above. So Delta is the sensitivity of the option price with uh, reflect to the spot price, change in spot price, and... Uh, the theta is the sensitivity of the option price with uh, relation to the time to expiration. Gamma is the sensitivity of the stock of the option price with relation to uh, the delta. So basically, it's the second derivative of uh, the stock. So the option price with relation to the stock price, and this becomes uh, important when dealing with the large changes in spot prices. Uh, it's kind of the same as dealing with duration and convexity in a way so yeah so Vega is the sensitivity of the option price with uh, in relation to the volatility and Rho finally is the sensitivity of the option price with relation to the risk free rate again none of these formulas as uh, well, at least for now, for the learning objectives that's written for now, none of them is required to be calculated for the exam. But nevertheless, they are important to know. So let's see how, how the Excel sheet that's available on the website will help. A financial institution wants to buy a European call option with a strike price of 52, non-dividend paying a stock that's currently trading at a price of 49. The risk-free rate is 5%. The stock volatility is 22 and the type to maturity is 20 weeks. Evaluate the Greeks and examine the impacts of changes in the stock and strike prices on each of the Greeks. So if you go to the file that's available here, and we click on black shots, and we enter the information, the stock price is 49, strike price is 52, 5%, 20, 52, volatility of 20%, type of option, this should be option, I don't know why it says, op yeah, that was a typo, 
and there is you select a call and right now over here what we have is um, we have selected yeah so basically when you select you have to you have to select over here which um, which Greek you want to display on the charge so over here you have summary of the pricing results which is the black shoulder price for the call. First of all, the black shoulder price for the call option, which is the one you selected. And then summary of the Greeks, the ones based on this data. And then after that, you select which of the Greeks you want to display. So over here, we are showing the effect of changing, just a second, effect of changing spot price on delta of the call option and effect of changing strike price on delta of the call option. Uh, I won't go into details in explaining why this is the pattern. If you are interested, you can check the website for that or the reading that's posted below the video again and this is the change in gamma this is what happens with theta this is what happens with vega this is what happens with rho and if we change it from a call to a put we have the same we have different results obviously and you just select which one you want to know and basically those are important really for analytical questions because you can see here uh, visualize how it's uh, how changes in different factor affect the different Greeks based on the one that you are looking for. This is pretty much it about the file. If you have any questions, please uh, make sure to email me on my uh, website, on the email on the website, and uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or and follow the blog in order to get notified about a new post. And also, please make sure to follow us on our social networks in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and have a good day.